Have you ever wondered which C-sharp project type to choose? Or have you wondered how to get started working the given project type? Keeping up with what the various project types are and how to use them can be tough, especially since there's so many of them, including multiple new ones. That is why today I'm announcing a new resource to help everyone get a better handle on the various project types in C-sharp, where they fit, and how to get started in them. We're going to look at that in just a minute. But if you don't know me, my name is Tim Corey, and it's my goal to make learning C-sharp easier. I do that by providing videos here on YouTube multiple times per week. Plus, I have a weekly podcast. I also provide courses on C-sharp, web development, and much more at IamTimCorey.com. The profits and those sales are what pays for the free content here on YouTube so that everyone can have a great education in C-sharp, not just those who can afford it. And this resource I'm going to show today is another one of those resources that has been paid by the contributions of people who are contributing to Patreon or contributing to watching ads on YouTube or are buying courses. People that have given back to the community so I can give more back to you as well. So let's look at this free resource that I've created. If you go to www.csharpprojects.com, you'll get this site right here. Now, this site may change over time. You may see changes to it, you may see uh, new resources added or things shifted around as it grows and changes. It's the first version. We're going to continue to iterate on this, but I wanna get this out to you right now. You'll even see things like coming soon. There are more resources coming to this page. So keep this bookmark this and keep coming back to it. The other thing is that, and we'll get into the site in just a minute, but the other thing is if you have something else you want to see added to this, like there's something that says coming soon that you want to see, go to the suggestion site, suggestions.imtimcorey.com and vote on that particular item being added, that resource being added to this page. Okay, so what this is, is a high level overview of the project types provided by Microsoft to us for C Sharp. So it's not VB.net, there's not F Sharp, there's not third party things yet. We will have third party in the future. So I am intending to add things like gaming, um, add additional things in the mobile category, for example, Avalonia and uh, Uno, things that are not provided by Microsoft, but that are a powerful option for you in the mobile desktop and web space. So what this is, it breaks it down by type. So we got desktop, web, service or other, mobile and gaming. And c -sharp can do all these things and these are the project types that fit into each category. Now, you may notice there are some things that appear to be duplicated, and they are. For example, .NET MAUI and Blazor Hybrid are in the desktop category as well as the mobile category. That's intentional because the fact that you can create with just one .NET MAUI project or Blazor Hybrid project, a desktop app that works on uh, Mac or Windows, you can also create in that same app a mobile app that works in iOS and Android. So I've put it in both categories because it fits into both areas. But what this does is it gives you an overview when you're looking at the idea that you say, I think we need a desktop app. Which type should we choose? Well, you can come here and see all of your options at once. But it gets a little better than that because we will have overview videos and we've got a couple of them already. All I do want to improve all of the overview videos and include adding the, the new ones for services and mobile. But we're going to have comparison videos for each of these. So we already have this comparison video here that compares the, the various product types, although it does not include .NET MAUI or Blazor Hybrid, which just came out recently. So if you look at the desktop app, you say, hey, I'm not really sure what WPF is, which I did spell it out here, but what is WPF? Well, I can click on this, I get more information. It's a, a short description of what WPF is, the prerequisites for learning uh, WPF. Now, the prerequisites for everything will be knowing C Sharp, and people often get confused here. Well, isn't WPF C Sharp? It's a user interface for C Sharp, but you really should know C Sharp before you just jump into WPF. So, 
There will be a little bit of a chicken and the egg, but I recommend if you're just starting, learn console app because it's the, the least amount of user interface while you learn C Sharp. Then you can jump into other UI projects. So the prerequisite is C Sharp. The introductory video, if you want to learn more about this WPF and get kind of a the get started video, there's an intro to WPF, which will take you to a video I have on YouTube that explains the APF. These are all free resources. Now down below, people often ask me, where can I find more information? What's the learning path for this? What's the, the thing I should learn next? And in this particular case, I think the C Sharp Master Course covers the APF well enough to get you started. Now I don't have a, uh, a more in-depth WPF course. And if you want that, you can go to a suggestion site and say, Hey, I'd love to see a more in-depth WPF course, but the C sharp master course is the, the first place to start. Now contrast that with, for example, blazer server, you say, Hey, I want to learn blazer server. Well, you'll see the prerequisites are not just C sharp. They're also ASP.net core. They may say, well, why ASP.net core? Well, that's the, the framework that all of the, or almost all of the web projects are built upon the five major projects. So MVC, API, Razor Pages, Blazor Server, and Blazor Web Assembly all use ASP.NET Core at their foundation. So you can go see the introductory video to Blazor Server. And then here's a learning path that I recommend. And again, these down here are paid courses, but you can see, get an idea of where I can go next if you want to go that route, but just getting started is going to be free. So this is to help you understand better what resources are available. We may expand this section with additional resources that I have on YouTube. We'll see. We're going to figure that out. And I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments if you want to see more information on the screen or um, additional information in some way or changes of information. But each of these is clickable. Now, some things, for example, Windows Forms, WinForms, uh, I don't have an introductory video. We're going to rectify that. We're going to create an introductory video. And so in the coming weeks, you will see intro to WinForms. You'll see um, a, a redo or a, a new version of the overview video for web. You'll see an overview video for services and for mobile. You'll see other things I don't currently have. So I don't have, which, which really surprised me, I don't have a video for class libraries. I think we really need one of those because class library is probably the most important project type to know. So this kind of exposed the fact that, Hey, I don't have one of those. We should create one of those. Now I covered that in the C sharp master course, of course, but I think this is a foundational thing to know. So we'll have an intro video to it. And I think you'll actually learn quite a bit, even if you have, um, started down your C sharp journey and have been doing it for a while, but this resource page is designed to do a few different things. First of all, if you are brand new to C Sharp and say, I don't even know what I want to do, I kind of want to do something on the web. Well, okay, there's your options. You may say, well, that's, that's a lot of different options I could do. How do I know which one to choose? Well, this overview video will help. Although again, I'm going to redo this video to cover all these resources in a bit more depth. But then you might say, well, I actually know that I want to learn API. That's, that's the most important web project type is the one I want to learn first. Well, okay. Then you can learn more about it and you can see what it does. You can see the prerequisites, the introductory video, which right now I have an intro to minimal API. We'll get a full API video soon, but then the learning path to learn in more depth, including the, the new web API from start to finish course. So there's lots of information you can gain out of this. This can be a resource that you, you know, grow with. If you're just starting, you kind of get the overview. If you are finding out there's new product types you haven't heard of before, gRPC or Azure functions or .NET Maui or Blazor hybrid, you can find out more information about these, these courses, how they work, what you need to know before you get started. Notice here, Prerequisites for Blazor Hybrid, HTML, CSS, and Blazor. You should know those things before you get started in Blazor Hybrid. So um, I even recommend that you take the Blazor Server course, even though it's 
it's not going to be for mobile. This will definitely help you when it comes to Blazor Hybrid. But this gives you that idea of a continual resource you can come back to over and over again as you need it. It's not something that is a one-time thing, but it will definitely be something that grows over time. Now, for those of you who have been eagerly awaiting, um, there is one category around here that is totally empty, and that is the gaming category. Um, that is a, a, a promise coming soon. Um, that is something that is on my radar. It is something I wanna do. I, would, I do wanna cover Unity and get into game programming from the C-sharp side of things so that you can, A, if you're a C-sharp developer who wants to have a, a fun side hobby and start building games, cool, let's do that. But also, if you're a person interested in games who might want to also use your skills in the business world, we can start from gaming and move into um, business C-sharp as well. So we'll be covering that in the future, but we'll also have more content on mobile. Um, and I do want to hear what your thoughts are on this page, because I do want to grow this to be the resource that can best help you. That's the whole point of doing this, is just to create a career resource that is, is helpful to your situation. So you can bookmark and keep coming back to and that will change and grow over time to be exactly what you need to give you the best idea of where to move forward, what to learn next, uh, how, what to use in a given project, and so on. So like I said, for right now, this is a Microsoft projects only, meaning projects that come baked into Visual Studio. Obviously you have to you know, check the box to say, I want those projects, but this is not for other languages. I haven't included, for example, the SSDT, the SQL Server Data Tools project, because that's for SQL, not for C Sharp, but it is a, a cool project type to know. Um, I also haven't included, like I said, third-party projects. Uh, I definitely think that Avalonia and Uno should be on this list at some point. And so I have to figure out how to put those in a way that you understand these are third-party project types. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I want to know what could make it more valuable to you. And I also want to know what you want to see added to it or changed on it. All right. So that is the C Sharp Projects site. So www.csharpprojects.com. Also, the link is down in the description. Use it, try it out. Let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see added to this so you can grow and expand your knowledge of C Sharp and the project types.